Aslam guys I found back again with another video and this is going to be a very short video and in this uh, video what we are going to be looking at is uh, how to change or disable the animation effects that are built into Windows 10 uh, let me show you exactly what I mean by that I'm gonna click on this star button and you see how uh, this menu uh, slowly pops up so just uh, steadily appearing on the screen it you know it it slowly goes up now that's the animation effect that's built into Windows 10 now uh, what this does is it gives the impression of Windows being less snappier and obviously uh, because of these uh, animation effects it does uh, take something away from the process so not you know it's not gonna make a, a heck of a difference but uh, if you are you know uh, if you want the windows to be uh, more responsive more snappier uh, what what is recommended is you disable that so in this video what we are going to be looking at is how to exactly go about doing that okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, let's get started uh, click on the start and we start tapping control and we will go into the control panel okay now here let me just zoom in here you have system click on the system and we have uh, device manager remote settings system protection and advanced system settings what you want to do is go to the advanced system settings okay now you have the computer name hardware advanced system protection and remote we'll stay with uh, advanced and this option here uh, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. So this is what we are looking at, the uh, the visual effects. Okay, so uh, let's uh, click on settings. Now, this is the menu that will open up. It's the first option that is selected by default is let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Okay, uh, then you have, and you see how these two are not checked but everything else is checked now when you click on or when you select uh, adjust for best appearance what happens is everything gets um, gets checked when you click on adjust for best performance nothing is checked okay and then you can have custom in which you can uh, change things around so uh, let's first uh, we this was the default so let's just do select this one it just for best appearance click on ok it will just take a minute for it to actually uh, you know go through all the uh, all the settings and there you have it now when, when I click on the start see it is a lot s slower okay now what we'll do is we'll go back settings and now what we are doing is adjust for best performance and click on OK again it's going to take a you know take a take a, take a minute there you go and now when you click on it on the start see how snappy it is okay but what that does is as a side effect the, the fonts don't look as good as as you know as they would and uh, when you drag a window it starts showing the contents so what we'll do is we'll go back to control panel system advanced system you see how the, the fonts don't look as good and see the, these fonts here and these fonts here what we'll do is we'll we'll tweak this setting a bit so the fonts look you know nicer like you know like the, these fonts here so click on setting and what we're going to do is i'm going to go to uh, best appearance and then click on custom and i'm going to uh, uncheck some of them so the first one is animate control and elements inside the windows no we don't want that animate windows when maxim minimizing and maximizing no animation in the taskbar no enable peak yeah fade and slide interview no 
fade and slide tooltips no fade out menu items no save taskbars thumbnail previews yeah why not show shadows under mouse uh, pointer yes show shadows under windows show thumbnails instead of icons in fact let's get rid of this also okay and uh, show transfer section yes show windows contents yes slide open comment boxes no smooth edge of the screen fonts yes smooth uh, scroll uh, no we don't want any scrolling on the list boxes used uh, drop shell for icon labels why not and just give it a minute for all these settings to actually register okay now you see it, the windows does uh, behave a lot you know snappier now let's go back here now you see how this font looks just like this the font also looks better and what we have ended up doing is we have ended up making the windows perform just a slightly bit faster uh, behave a little snappier and uh, that's it for this uh, video like i had said at the beginning this is going to be a very very short video uh, just a little tip for you to be able to tweak your user experience in windows 10 uh, if you like this video please kindly give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like this please subscribe thank you